I recently made a video on the story of the famous East German number station Gongs and Chimes. This was easily one of the most unnerving number stations, with its eerie gongs and chimes sound, whose quality worsened as the tape it was sent from degraded over the years. It was widely believed for many decades in the number station community that the station, Enigma ID G03, came from Ziesen, or other transmitting facilities in the Königs Wusterhausen area of Germany. However, other sources of research seem to suggest otherwise. Let me quickly recap. Gongs and Chimes was an East German number station that sent encrypted messages to spies and agents with instructions and information. The numbers were decoded using a one-time pad which meant that only the sender and recipient could decipher the message. The gongs and chimes part of the signal was used as a propagation aid to allow the recipient to tune the station incorrectly before the message was sent. The full story of G03 and many other videos on number stations can be found in the links in the description below. The location information in my original G03 video was based on what listeners knew and believed in the 1980s and 1990s, but since then more information has come to light. This particular number station was noted as far back as the 1950s, when a predecessor to G03 was sent by the A3 radio service prior to the 1960s. The NVA, or National People's Army, who operated the later G03 that was first noted in 1972, had a total of four transmitting stations and a receive site. The first was at Bernau, which ceased operations from around 1961. I can't find the exact location for this site, perhaps it was dismantled when operations ceased. The second was known as Angermünde, but was in fact 20 kilometers south in Semptenhutter. This became operational from around 1961. The third was Dalwitz Hoppergarten, which was given the designation 137, and finally there was Scheude, west of Dassau, which had the name BST4. It's almost definite that the first transmissions from G03 came from the first transmitting station in Bernau, or the surrounding area. This facility, as I said, ceased operations in around 1961. After Bernau closed, the transmissions came from a forest area near Senftenhütte, south of Angermünde in Brandenburg. This site became the replacement for the recently defunct Bernau station. Senftenhütte was one of the two locations belonging to the NVA's radio office, also known as the Agency Radio Centre, or AFZ, and was used for the NVA's internal communications. The radio office itself was based on Glunostrasse in Dalwitz Hoppergarten. From here, the transmitters at the Semptenhütte station were managed with the help of the staff in the Cluso Reception Centre, 18 kilometres away to the northeast. The Semptenhütte transmitters could be controlled from Krusov by technical staff based in Semptenhütte. The site was equipped with nine KN5E transmitters, each with a 5 kW output power, and another four KN20E transmitters, each with a 20 kW output. Transmissions were sent via directional antennas, huge dipoles with wide spacings, and trap antennas over 30 meters high. There was another transmitter site at Dahlwitz Hoppergarten. This had the internal designation 137 and was in operation until the mid 1980s. However, it's unlikely that the G03 broadcasts actually came from this station. 137 was linked with another transmission station, known as BST4 in Scheude, which took over the tasks of 137 during renovation work there. The equipment at 137 consisted of around 5 KN1E transmitters, each with an output power of 1 kW. The whole site was protected by electric fences and barbed wire. Both 137 and BST4 were only responsible for the NVA administration internal communications, however they served as a backup for the AFZ. BST4 also served as a liaison service with Warsaw Pact partners and subordinate units. 
an MDR documentary entitled Lausch Angriff auf Dessau from the Der Austin series in 2017 confirmed the operator behind G03 was indeed the agency radio centre in Senftenhutter. The documentary also noted that the MVA used Morse generators, for which a separate voice module had apparently been created. It also claimed that the Scheuder broadcasting station would have taken over the number broadcast if Angamunda had failed. The documentary also talked about the infamous last broadcast of G03, which I'll recap for you here. The thawing of the Cold War, initiated by Soviet Premier Mikhail Gorbachev, which led to the Brussels Conference of World Powers in November 1990, finally silenced the East German number station on the evening of Wednesday the 9th of May 1990, when final messages were sent out to agents in the field. This final broadcast was unusual in itself, however. It started with the gongs and chimes intro, and then what appeared to be drunken MVA soldiers could be heard singing a well-known German children's song, Alle meine Entchen, or My Ducklings. Before that, one of them said, Und nun die Sendung für das aufgewächte Kinder, and now the transmission for the bright child. And just like that, gongs and chimes fell silent and was never heard again. Today, little is left of these East German radio sites. Krusov lies largely derelict, with one radio mast up there which appears to still be in use. Sempton Hutter also appears to be derelict, and its radio tower has been removed in recent years. There is still evidence of the concrete bases for radio towers on the ground, but not much else remains. Bernau is the site I couldn't locate, and I assume this disappeared in the early to mid 1960s. Dalwitz Hoppergarten still retains one of its radio towers, but the site appears to be a horse training centre and stables today. And finally, Scheuder is probably the most preserved site. Most of the buildings have gone, and the land is now used by a farmer. But the roads are still visible, along with various towers that form the antenna structures. Where towers have been removed, the concrete guide points are still visible. So that puts to bed any speculation over the location of East Germany's most terrifying number station. Sieben, fünf, fünf, sechs, drei, 